just here we're getting ready to hibernate for the winter, but these damn messages on Telegram about Nash's price keeps on disturbing me. So let's discuss the matter at hand. Why is Nash's token price keeps on tanking, and what is the difference between price and value? Coming up now. Please, no more Telegram messages about Nash's price until that bad boy hits about 10 bucks. Is your money working for you, or are you working for money? Welcome back to the crypto lifestyle, and what can I say? This is my favorite part in the house, kind of like my logo. I don't know man, I just love hammocks. It's the crypto lifestyle, baby! <sighs> I'm running off of a spicy two hours of sleep because my telegram alerts keeps on popping off, and I just can't sleep. See, I can't even talk. And I just can't seem to catch up on some Z's, man. So, I figured, let me make this video so I can sleep in peace. Now let's get to the point real quick. Why is Nash's token price tanking? And what is the difference between price and value? There's one thing you guys need to understand. So if you look at Nash's order books, it's not a very liquid token, meaning the trading volume is not high at all. I'm not talking about the Nash exchange. I'm talking about the other exchanges that are selling Nash's token. So if I was to probably dump even 2,000 um, 2, units of Nash's token, that, that will have an immediate negative impact on the price of the token, okay? The order books are very slim. So the slightest amount of money being dumped on Nash will obviously affect the price. Opposed to if Nash token had a higher trading volume. Plus there's quite a bit of Next tokens locked up in the staking contract. So again, the slightest sell will have a decrease in the token's price. So please man, do not let the token's price swear you away entirely from Nash's token. Although I am not a financial advisor, nor do I claim to be one, I am just a crypto fanatic who loves investing into cryptocurrencies. So please do do your own homework when investing into any such crypto. If you sold your Next tokens because you weren't satisfied with the price going up in value, you clearly do not understand the differences between price and value. Well, if you didn't know, value is not indicative to price. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's first think about how huge Bitcoin is. But what's bigger than Bitcoin? It's the blockchain. That's the real value there. That's the underlying asset, right? Not 10K of Bitcoin. The ability to send funds across borders instantaneously without any intermediates or banks involved is a liberating feeling. Do you remember the first time you ever sent and received money across the blockchain? It truly is a feeling money cannot buy. You truly cannot attach a dollar value to that. A better example of this is the internet. Now we all know that how it's very clear and obvious that the internet can be used for many different things. But what isn't so obvious and clear is the actual underlying asset of this technology which is the actual infrastructure itself. The underlying technologies of the internet is what truly makes it extremely valuable. There's a number of different technologies that are combined together that makes the internet. If the internet had a dollar value attached to it, what would the price be? It doesn't matter, just hold, hold your thought. It doesn't matter because the true value comes from the actual utility use case of the infrastructure or the internet. Because of the internet today, we can all own a digital online business and work from home. You can also apply for jobs through the internet opposed to doing it physically. You can send messages across the world instantaneously, also known as emails. Get this guys, you could even broadcast a show worldwide for free because of the internet like I'm doing right now. Now that is the true value of the internet. Now the utility aspect of the internet is something money cannot buy. Who cares about price when you have this? If the internet had a dollar price attached to it, what would the price be? But it don't matter because the use of the infrastructure is where the real value is at. You can't put a dollar figure on that. Well, the same is true for Nash because value is not indicative of price, but the value is indeed indicative to the underlying technology or utility of the infrastructure. And here's why. Just like the blockchain, which allows you to send and receive funds all on your own without any third parties involved in an unprecedented fashion or first time ever, Nash's real value is to trade on a high performance decentralized exchange, which is a registered security by the way. This gives us traders a peace of mind knowing that we can actually trade safely on this exchange with fast transactions per second where you can even leave your funds on the exchange overnight without worrying about the next morning if you got hacked. And don't sit there and tell me, hey man, I'm never going to get hacked because we just recently saw this this year with exchanges such as Cryptopia, 
uh, Quadrica CX, and Binance, okay? Even the behemoth Binance got hacked. Look, I'm gonna stop right here. Because I really shouldn't be making this video explaining to you guys what Nash will be offering and the true value in which what represents Nash, not only in the crypto space, but the entire fintech space as a whole. All I could say is this, you and myself should feel blessed to have a decentralized exchange such as Nash in the crypto ecosystem, which will indeed revolutionize the way you go about your daily crypto activities for years and years to come. Are you looking at the price today? tomorrow or next month? Or are you looking at the price next year and the year after that and the following years to come? I don't know, I'm just paraphrasing what Warren Buffett said. I'm just trying to sound all very wisdom-like, you know? See you guys later. My ass is going back to hibernating in my hammock. And please, no more Telegram messages about Nash's price until that bad boy hits about 10 bucks. I don't wanna have to I feel bad. No. The crypto lifestyle, babe. Baby, it's the crypto lifestyle I'm about to sun you fake boys like you're my child You ain't lit bro, you can't be with hits bro You don't deserve your subs like Ready, set, crypto You still working for money, it ain't for you Check the crypto lifestyle, I'll teach you what you should do Want the best content first and I got something for you Yeah, just posting the same shit, pretending it's something new